man, it's good to be back. It's good to be showing you guys some just raw, honest, what I'm doing videos. And the first one I've got planned up is I want to show you guys behind the scenes of this brand new welcome sequence that I'm writing. Now I'm going to do a full video on this next video, but right now I'm using a copy bot that I made to review my copy. And it's just so freaking good that I want to give you guys the bot and show you how to work it for free because it'll be fun. So like I said, I'm building an agency in 2026. I want to document everything. But before I do that, I need to get my info product systems really kicking. Like I want to make sure all of my automated things are absolutely balling. And so the first thing on my list was to really make a in-depth welcome sequence. I've been doing a lot of these for clients and friends, but I haven't taken a look at mine in a long time. And so um, I'm, I'm here on email number six. Now, this email number six is like the offer email. So this one is really the kicker. This is where I'm going to give my offer. I've been building value. I've been like building curiosity. Email six is like the money maker email. And so I wanted to feed this to ChatGPT and see what it said. And it was phenomenal feedback. So I'll share with you guys kind of what it did. So here is the subject lines, copyright clients guaranteed, copy school details inside. Honestly, not my greatest, but we'll see. It'll, it'll tell me that. Email copy, yo, good morning. Um, basically, I just do a little bit of a joke, a little bit of a lighthearted just yap for a sec. That's really fun. And then I get into, I've got a couple questions about copy school. So I figured I'd answer these questions in this email. And so they've been told about copy school up to this point, which you'll see in the next video when I break down freaking all of these 20 emails. Um, but yeah, I just want to give them an offer. And then I get into the offer. And I do it in a way where I am doing a Q&A format. And so it's really low key. It's really authentic. It's really transparent because, and I do that because, not because I don't like to sell, but because I know I'm selling to you guys. I'm selling to copywriters. And so if I just do some kind of normal salesy thing, it's just not as cool versus if I make it just authentic, straightforward and kind of cut the, cut the salesiness. Um, I just think it's, it's, that's what I would want to read as a copywriter myself. I'd rather someone just be transparent. And so that's what I'm trying to do with you guys or whoever sees this in the future. So first, what is copy school? Then I go over, is there a guarantee? And then how is that possible? How does this program work? And this is where I go over the pillars. And so this is kind of like the process section, the offer stack. Um, where I really build up some curiosity and juice for what's inside. Then I answer how much work is it? And then I answer what happens when I join. So this is literally like not a future pace. It's more of just a step by step what's going to happen. So they, they, they feel a little bit safer whenever they join because um, they already can see what's going to happen. And then how do I join? Very clear CTA and then the prices down here. And then um, just a little honest like emotional thing at the end. And so that's the email. But and it's, I'd say it's not bad. It's probably around like a B minus B plus right now, but it's not fantastic. And right now I'm like dead. I mean, look, I've been working on 20 something emails. And so I hit up the copy review bot. Now this is from, this is actually a bot we made for copy lead and it's inside of copy school. I'm gonna give it to y'all for free in the description. No freaking email list, like no nothing. You can just go click the link and you've got it. So hope you enjoy. Um, it'll ask you, do you, do you want me to review some copy or uh, ask it, how can I improve my skills? And this copy bot is trained on the copywriting 101 course. So the 10 hour course, it's been trained through that course to review copy as if I was reviewing my own copy. And so what I did is I, I clicked, can you review some copy? And then I copy and pasted this entire email into ChatGPT, uh, into this bot. And it says, what's good about it? It's extremely personal. It's on brand. Okay. Subtext awareness. The subject game is strong proof of skill using the bot to write this very email brilliant meta proof so the first thing the bot does is it gas you up i don't care what anybody says we could all use a little bit of gassing up you know after you're writing copy for a long time it tells you what's good then it tells you what could be better and this is actually some really good feedback it says subject lines so these these are weak i already kind of felt that going into it it says it's attention grabbing, but it lacks intrigue. So there's no curiosity. Copy school details inside, very generic, could be any course, no emotion or curiosity. Um, so yeah, I do agree. Those, those are not great. The, the email opens up fun, but not with a hook. You risk losing skimmers. The dopamine stack is clever, but doesn't tie into the offer fast enough. Okay, I kind of get that. I definitely do think I need to have some sort of hook um, tying into whatever I decide to do the real subject line. Chunking formatting, long walls of text in some parts, especially the pillar section makes it feel heavy, which violates cognitive ease and concise curiosity. So here this bot is, 
using my own stuff to make me look stupid. Um, I don't know. It's good, man. It's good, man. Uh, CTA could be stronger, though. And then it goes into why that would be better. Um, so I kind of know that it's right. But if you wanted to get better and study and kind of really use this to improve your skill, it's got this really cool section where it tells you why it would be better. And then actionable improvements. It says curiosity based subject lines. Um, these are these are kind of corny, but like I'm going to do something similar to this. And then first line hook rework. So it's even rewriting the copy for you. Now, this is where I would say the bot kind of starts to tail off. Unless you're writing for really unaware audiences, I would just use its suggestions and do your own thing. So like use what it, whatever it has here, but but make your own spin on it, really make it fit what you're writing. And then um, it'll tell you some formatting stuff. This stuff sucks, but the idea is there. Uh, and then it gave me a good CTA, which I actually I don't mind this CTA. Uh, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So I might even just jug that directly. And um, so yeah, this is what I'm doing, guys. And just use the bot in the description. What I will say is you'll get kind of different results every time you use it. And so because of that, I want to give you two tips. You kind of want to open a new chat and send your piece of copy like, I don't know, two, three, four, five times to see all kinds of different feedbacks that it'll give you. And then also whenever you redo your copy, don't just keep sending it in because it'll always find something wrong. Like if it doesn't know, it'll just make something up. And so once you do this once or twice, like, just call it good. You got some dope copy. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the bot. Let me know what you think and let me know if it helps you. See you guys in the next video. In the next video, I'll break down all this welcome email sequence, but it's going to be thick, so it might be a while. But uh, yeah, see you guys later.